Hey, how's it going guys? This is Carl. So I've been taking a few weekend trips down to LA, play some of the bigger rooms. Um, so it's probably been, I checked out all the rooms like maybe three, four years ago, but decided to uh, go check them out again. And Hollywood Park, they totally rebuilt it. It's really nice now. And of course the gardens used to be inside a tent. Is They had like a temporary kind of like circus tent they were using for years and then they finally built a, a permanent facility and it's actually really nice they got this uh, little volcano out front which is kind of cool a little bit cheesy but you know whatever um, the bike they just uh, um, they kind of remodeled it a little bit they added a hotel and Live the bike used to be kind of on the floor, like in the back. Now this like a separate room, so that's kind of cool. And yeah, Commerce, uh, it's probably the they've got the most poker tables anywhere, I believe, outside like Rio during the World Series. So it's pretty cool, lots of action. Um, but yeah, I kind of kind of like it. You know, some of the rooms are pretty old like cars you know open in the 80s or whatever so it's a little little more run down than like some of the Vegas book rooms just because you know it's older but you know still got its, its own charm so then I also checked out uh, Lucky Lady Casino which is used to be called the Normandy and they got they got in trouble the old owners they got in trouble for like money laundering or something like that so Larry Flint, who was the hustler down the street, took over, and that's called Lucky Lady. So that's the only chip I did have in my collection since uh, I visited a few years ago. Um, and also, they give you like forty dollars in free promo chips just for signing up. So I ended up like playing four hands at baccarat, and I lost them all. So obviously, I suck at baccarat. Can't be a professional baccarat player. Um, you see those guys with like the little cars are marking down all that stuff. Those are the professionals. It's actually, uh, I think that's the most popular game in Asia. It's kind of like blackjack, except there's no real thinking. It's just like you get what you get. You can't hit or split or any of that stuff. But it is pretty low house edge games, like 1% or something. But yeah, when I play, I'll only play those kind of games if I have like a match play or promotional chips for. You know, that gives you a, a small edge for a few hands. They're hoping you, you play that and then keep playing when they have the edge, but I always leave after that. Um, but yeah, I think Hustler does the same thing. You get some, I think like $40 of promo chips for signing up there too. So if you're ever in LA, definitely check all these places out. It's interesting, but yeah, if you're in LA, there's a lot of different options. It's all kind of geographically spread out, kind of like Florida. Or, you know, there's a lot of rooms, but it's kind of a drive between. Whereas in Vegas, it's all concentrated pretty much on the strip. And actually, taking another trip, uh, I think I'm going to do Reno for about a week, just grind some games out there. It's not too much poker action. There's going to be like Pepper Mill, Atlantis, and downtown at uh, Silver Legacy. They've got, I checked on Broadway, they got about maybe six or seven games running on any given night for, uh, you know, one, two, one, three. And if you want to play higher than that, you have to play Pepper Mill. They got like a 3-5 game. But yeah, I was going to do that for a week. Then I'll be back in Vegas for a week. And then I'll be heading out to Louisiana for a few days. And yeah, it's going to be my October. Um, been logging a lot of hours. Uh, closing in on 1100 for the year. My goal is 1500 So it's definitely doable. So, you know, I figure if I can just kind of keep up the pace, keep grinding, uh, I can knock that one out. Also, I just got a new guitar because uh, 
who knows when I'll get my other guitar back from the cops. You know, it could take another eight months or it could be forever. Who knows? Um, but I figure I'm just going to get, you know, some cheap, cheap, cheapest rig I can. It's going to be, you know, around 400 bucks. This one's only 150. So, you know, serviceable guitar plays pretty nice. Probably the weakest point is these, you know, cheap pickups, but all cheap guitars are just going to have crappy pickups. So, you know, maybe doesn't like it. You know, upgrade another 200 bucks, stick in some good pickups. But other than that, you know, it plays pretty nice. Good neck, 24 frets. You know, tuners are kind of crappy too, but you know, should stay in tune. I think, uh, you know, the hardware, usually when it's new, it holds up a little bit better. Um, So yeah, I'll be gigging a little bit when I come back from Reno, you know, a week and a half. Well, it's, you know, it's not like the perfect sweet spot where it's not too hot, not too cold. So, be out there, and you know, worst thing happened, I get arrested again, and they take my junk. But I just consider that, you know, 400 bucks, cost of doing business, whatever. Um, but yeah, I kind of miss playing, because, you know, I had one guitar stolen last year, and then one I just pawned. I pawned like pretty much all my other guitar stuff. I've had lots of different guitar gear over the years, but it's got this new one, 150 bucks. I think it's a pretty good deal. It's actually on sale. And I just launched um, some of my art as prints. Basically what you're going to get, there's four different sets to choose from. Each set is four 11 by 17 laser printed on cardstock. And so if you have any blank walls in your house that you want to decorate, uh, I think it's a great choice to pick out a set. And right now I'm doing a, a launch sale, so everything is 30% off and uh, free shipping in the United States. So uh, check out the link in the description. and. All proceeds go back into the channel to help me buy better audio gear, uh, better better camera. Right now I'm still filming on my Galaxy S7, which is serviceable, but yeah, we could definitely upgrade that. And uh, also helps me buy you know more art supplies to uh, continue my artistic endeavors. So thanks, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.